Kokla Rock, born on April 24, 1955, in New York City, stands as a seminal figure in the history of hip-hop, often revered as the first MC, master of ceremonies, in the genre's burgeoning narrative. His journey into hip-hop lore commenced in the 1970s, a period marked by the birth of a cultural revolution. In the Bronx, where the echoes of funk and soul intertwined with the city's pulsating life, La Rock found his calling. In collaboration with DJ Cool Herc, considered the father of hip-hop, La Rock pioneered the art of M-Sing. This duo's synergy was electric. Cool Herc's turntables laid down the rhythmic foundations while La Rock's voice, rhythmic and commanding, cut through the air. They didn't just play music, they created an experience. Their parties in the Bronx, particularly at 1520 Sedgwick Avenue, became legendary. Here, hip-hop was in its infancy, a powerful expression of urban life and youth culture. La Rock's style was distinctive. He wasn't just speaking over tracks, he was interacting with the crowd, using words to energize, engage, and connect. His technique was improvisational, a skill that would become a cornerstone of rap. He didn't record albums, his art was ephemeral, existing in the moment for the moment. This was a time before hip-hop was on records, before it was a global phenomenon. It was raw, unfiltered, a reflection of the streets from which it sprang. In understanding Kokla Rock's impact, it's crucial to grasp the context of his era. The 1970s Bronx was a mosaic of challenges and vibrancy. Amidst economic hardship and social strife, hip-hop emerged as a voice for the voiceless, a channel for storytelling and resistance. La Rock, through his pioneering efforts, helped lay the foundation for what would become a global movement. His contributions, though less recorded and celebrated than some of his successors, are no less significant. Kokla Rock's legacy is a testament to the roots of hip-hop. It's a reminder that greatness often begins in the most unassuming places. His story encourages us to delve into our past, to acknowledge and learn from the architects of our culture. La Rock's journey underscores a profound truth. Innovation often emerges from the margins, from the voices that are waiting to be heard. In understanding his story, we gain a deeper appreciation of hip-hop's transformative power and its enduring impact on global culture. As we delve deeper into the narrative of Coke La Rock, we find a figure who, despite his monumental role, remains somewhat enigmatic, a shadowy pioneer in the annals of hip-hop history. Unlike many of his successors who would go on to commercialize and globalize the genre, La Rock's influence was more subtle yet foundational. In the early days, hip-hop was not just about the music, it was about community. The block parties where La Rock performed were gatherings, melting pots of culture and expression. These events were more than entertainment. They were communal expressions of identity and resistance against social and economic adversity. In this milieu, La Rock was not just an entertainer, he was a community voice, a narrator of the streets. His lyrics, though not recorded in studios for commercial distribution, were powerful. They spoke of the realities of life in the Bronx, the joys, the struggles, the everyday experiences of the people. This authenticity was the heart of early hip-hop, a trait that La Rock epitomized. He was a storyteller, using his platform to echo the sentiments of his community. Coke La Rock's impact on hip-hop can also be seen in the way he influenced those who came after him. The early MCs who followed in his footsteps, figures like Grandmaster Flash and Africa Bamba Ta, built upon the foundations he laid. They took his blueprint of emceeing and evolved it, experimenting with lyrical complexity and flow. But at the core, the essence of connecting with the audience, of telling a story, of being the voice of the streets remained, a legacy of La Rock's pioneering approach. Reflecting on Coke La Rock's story is not just a journey into the past, it's an exploration of the roots of a culture that has shaped contemporary society. His tale is a reminder that innovation often comes from places overlooked by the mainstream. It teaches us that the voices that start as whispers in the corners of society can grow to become roars that echo across the world. In celebrating La Rock, we celebrate the spirit of hip-hop itself, a spirit of creativity, resilience, and community. His narrative encourages us to remember that each of us has the potential to be pioneers in our own right. It's a call to honor our roots, to recognize the contributions of those who paved the way, and to carry forward the torch of innovation and authenticity in whatever we do. Coke La Rock's story is not just history, it's a living legacy, a continual source of inspiration. It's a compelling reminder that understanding our past is crucial in shaping our future. And in that understanding, we find the courage to forge new paths and keep the spirit of innovation alive. 
Coke LaRock's influence extends beyond the mere genesis of hip hop. It permeates the very ethos of the genre. In those early Bronx parties, something more profound than a musical style was birthed. It was the inception of a cultural movement. LaRock, with his instinctive rhymes and crowd commanding presence, didn't just entertain, he ignited a spark that would grow into a blazing fire encompassing music, art, fashion, and a unique way of life. This early era of hip-hop was characterized by a DIY ethos. There were no big studios or record labels involved. It was about using what was available, turntables, vinyl records, and the power of the spoken word. LaRock and his contemporaries were innovators not out of ambition for fame or wealth, but out of necessity and passion for expression. They turned their limitations into their greatest strengths. The significance of these humble beginnings cannot be overstated. Today's global hip-hop culture, with its multi-billion dollar industry, owes its existence to these foundational moments and figures like La Rock. The roots laid down in the Bronx during the 1970s have grown into a vast tree with branches spreading across all corners of the world, influencing countless artists and spawning diverse sub-genres. Yet Coke La Rock's story also serves as a poignant reminder of the ephemeral nature of fame and the often unrecorded history of pioneers. Unlike many artists today whose every lyric and movement is documented and analyzed, much of LaRock's work exists only in the memories of those who were there. This lack of extensive recording makes his contribution no less significant, but perhaps even more legendary. His influence is felt rather than explicitly traced, a ghostly but powerful presence in the DNA of hip-hop. In the grand narrative of hip-hop, Coke LaRock represents the pure essence of the genre, storytelling, community engagement, and speaking truth to power. His legacy teaches us that cultural movements often start with small gatherings of passionate individuals. It reminds us that creativity and innovation can flourish under the most challenging circumstances. As we look back at the path carved by Coke LaRock, we're encouraged to respect and acknowledge our cultural forebears. We're inspired to learn from their struggles and triumphs. And perhaps most importantly, we're reminded of the power of our voices. Just as LaRock spoke for the Bronx in the 1970s, we each have the ability to tell our stories, to represent our communities, and to contribute to the ongoing narrative of our times. Coke LaRock's story is a beacon of inspiration, urging us to embrace our past, to understand the roots from which we have sprung, and to carry forward the legacy of innovation, creativity, and authenticity. It's a story that resonates beyond hip-hop, echoing in the hearts of all who aspire to make their mark on the world. Click like, subscribe, and share this channel.